take a one month break from flesh and blood and what happens? You go and make counterfeits. What the hell? So it's been a little while, I know. Um, I'm taking a month off. Uh, I've been taking a little bit of time off here just so I can get some life things figured out. We've got a pretty big year ahead of us family-wise. So uh, I'm more focused on that. Uh, I can only be so sorry. But um, I do want to get back into the swing of things. I am trying to ramp up my uh, production quality a little bit. So hopefully this is a little bit better. Editing, Joe. In an effort to have manual focus over the Logitechs because they're garbage with their autofocus, I decided to use Logitech Capture to make this video. And that sucks. The audio is awful and I apologize it for being super scratchy, but it's still good content, guys. Please work your way through it. Um, over time, I, I want to work on some things. I want to try to take certain things seriously. I've been working 60 to 70 hours a week, uh, 60 to 70 hours a week for the last like month and a half. I'm tired, but um, there has been uh, a circuit of kind of counterfeits going around. That was a really bad fan. I can do that better. Uh, but um, no, it wasn't better. Whatever. It's been a little while. I'm not great at fanning. I used to be, but it... There we go. Ha! There we go. There's your fan. Whatever. Little things. Um, no, there's a string of counterfeits that are going around. Uh, some people have posted uh, some really good-looking counterfeits. And granted, there's a lot of conversation right now about you can look in a jeweler's loop and there are ways that you can tell, but I wanted to spend a little time showing you the things to look out for if you don't have that luxury, if you don't have a jeweler's loop, how about if you don't even have the card in front of you um, or something to compare it with? And I think that's the bigger danger. If I want to sell you a card, I'm not going to show up to your house and be like, take a jeweler's loop to this. I'm going to show you a picture of this. And you're going to be like, this looks real. That looks real enough, right? This one's the real one. But, um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. So I wanted to actually show off these counterfeits. You're probably going to see a couple other content creators do the same thing. Uh, these were sent out to us, uh, so that way we can really generate awareness. Um, there's always going to be different types of counterfeits, different qualities of them. So like I said, I want to focus on the specific things to look at on a card um, that you can maybe determine whether or not something's counterfeit. So again, no jeweler's loop this time. Yes, we know those are counterfeit measures. I'll go over what they are, but I'm not really going to show those off. So we're going to go way into the card. Um, so like I said, I'm trying different production quality because I really want to show this off. Um, so stick around for that and I'll show you how I can tell which of these are real and which of them are fake even if I shuffle and have no actual indicator of which is which. There are indicators on these things. Um, but before we do that, before we do that, this one's a little ironic as far as the beer choice because it's a guy, uh, it's a guy, Mike, out of Oregon. He sent me beer to thank them for helping build the community with the Learn to Play kit, which is really cool. But his Discord name is Have a Soda? A Soda? No! This is from Freem. He sent, he sent me these. He, he said have a beer, though his name is Have a Soda. He said, Joe, have a beer. Joey, have a beer. So this is the Hazy IPA from Freem. I think I said that night, right? I think you gotta add a, a frame, like ruffles have ridges, frame, whatever. It's German. Um, out in Oregon. So thank you for sending me the beer. I appreciate that. Uh, I will always take that. Um, and uh, yeah, frame, yeah, frame from Hood River. Uh, glass is 71 from Scotland. It's been a while since I've done these glasses. So that's what we got going for you. I'm gonna pour this bad boy out. Um, as always, thank you to my Patreon members as well. Thank you guys. I want to do some more stuff. I'm thinking about doing box openings. Like, I figure I figure I could do a box opening thing once in a while. That'd be pretty fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That might be... I'm just... I purposely screwed the pour up at the end just because it was taking forever. But here we go. That's a little... We're getting there. We're getting there. Um. Hmm. That was all foam. So we'll try that later. Um, but thank you guys for being a part. Uh, Patreon.com, Dex and Drafts, if you want to be part. I've got pen classes. I've got coasters. I want to do a couple other things. Um, hopefully, like I said, I need life to calm down a little bit, and then I can really start doing some more uh, stuff. But tons of things in the work. But today, we're going to flip the camera, and I'm going to show you how you can tell a counterfeit without being in front of the card. There we go. I'll see you in a sec. Was this framing intentional? You bet it was.
My girl Azalea. I'm still, uh, still working on her. Anyway, 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 let's start this little adventure with a game. I'm going to show you, actually, we're going to do it this way. I was going to do this a little differently, but um, I think the point of this, what I really want to do is not show you how you can tell by comparison, but see if you can tell a counterfeit when all you have is just one picture of a card. This is the card I want to buy. Is that real or is that fake? That's that's what I want to focus on. That's what I want this video to be. So I'm going to just, just for my own good measure, I'm also going to sh shuffle these up. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you I can prove that I can tell which is the counterfeit and which isn't if I don't actually know which. And I'm not even going to jeweler's loop any of this stuff. I, this is going to be without jeweler's loop. This is going to be without any special tools. This is quite literally, I am buying something on the internet and this is the picture I get from somebody right here. How do I tell from this picture if this is a fake or not? That simple. That simple. So let's start with this one. Real quick, I'll give you a second or two. Um, to determine which one of which ones of these are real and which of these are fake. E strike number one is this real or is this fake? What do you think? Let's give you. Let's push that aside. I'll tell you which is which is right and which is wrong in a sec. Um, let's do. Let's do this art of war. You buy. The, you want to buy this art of war? This is the picture you get sent. Is this real or is this fake? All right. Let's go this E-Strike. Is this one real or is it fake? And lastly, this Art of War. Real or fake? All right, so this is the order that I gave you. One, two, three, four. Those are your fakes. And yes, there's an actual way to tell. Really quick, I'm going to recap the uh, ways that you can tell if you have a jeweler's loop. I know these are going to be the, the common ones, but again, my focus is let's say you get a picture, but I, I'm going to still show you these. So, and again, I don't want to, I'm going to do some comparisons, but this is kind of one of those, like if this is the picture you get, like these are actually very differently colored in my eyes. But this camera, this lighting is not going to show you that. They'll actually look pretty similar. It is much clearer that this one's my fake. Uh, if you're looking at it, this one's a little greener. But anyway, let's show you. Um, let's let's dig in really quick to the jeweler's loop stuff, just so you can see it. Just so we can be thorough here. Um, first thing, there are two basic. There are two solid ways to tell from the back. From the back, the first is, and I'm going to do some manual focus again. So I apologize. This is going to be a little weird. Um, I think I got to get super focused in on this. See this black line around the border? that's been going around the border. So you've got the main black border and then you've got this line that's kind of going kind of right just inside of it. Take a look at right here, right here. I'm gonna do this with a pencil. I need this with a pencil. Right, where are you? There we go. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm almost trying to like not create my own shadows. There we go. You kind of see it right there. So that actually says LSS. On it. If you zoom in even closer than I can on this camera, that says LSS. This is real. This is a real card. Um, yes. I have to think about that for a second. I can't actually tell because I'm looking through a viewfinder. Um, but yes, that will say LSS. That is a real card. A counterfeit. A counterfeiter is probably not going to be able to get that level of pixel detail um, on it. Also, mind the scratches. Mind surface. Ignore all surface issues you see throughout this video. I've, had let, a, I've let a lot of people handle these. Um, just so they can see. The second thing you're going to notice is right here, the TM. So in the LSS printings, the TM is actually printed under the black ink. You can kind of see how the smoke is, is kind of just over the top of the TM there. This is kind of the best shot I can give you. It's over top of it. Now let's look at the counterfeit. This actually looks like a splotch. It actually looks pretty bad. Um, Let's get, it doesn't quite, it actually looks kind of, kind of splotched, honestly. It looks like a bloop, um, but it is definitely different. Put the two side by side. You can see there versus there. This is a lot like thicker. So that's, that's, that's how you tell the jeweler's loop. 
Are those your jeweler's loop reasons? Are those your jeweler's loop methods? All right, so I don't want to take, I don't want to spend too, too long on this. So I'm going to show you the surefire ways um, for me when it comes to any one of these, looking at the front, looking from a picture. The first thing you need to really wrap your mind around when it comes to making a counterfeit is that there are things that people are going to create and there are things that people are going to copy. Chances are nobody is taking the art of war and trying to recreate the image pixel by pixel. That is not a thing. They took a high res version of this and they've copied it. Um, there you go. That's, that's one that that part's copied. However, when it comes to things like the text, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Again, this is kind of my first time trying something like this, so bear with me. Um, when it comes to text, when it comes to symbols, this stuff you create from scratch. You reduce the likelihood that somebody's going to catch pixelation problems by creating as much of a counterfeit from scratch as you can. So text and symbols are going to be created from scratch, and it's here where you can find the issues without even needing to zoom in. Yes, if you zoom in really damn close and great quality, you're gonna be able to see stuff. Um, you're, you're very likely gonna be able to see them. But um, you might not always get that kind of luxury. You might not always get those images. You might be looking at an eBay uh, seller posting stuff like this and they might not have taken those shots and you might not be able to ask. and things like that. So there are other ways to tell, and it's going to be in the things that are created. So on any given card, here's where to look. And actually, I'm going to use the E-Strike just because I've got symbols in the bottom corners. The symbols in the pitch created from scratch, created from scratch. This section created from scratch, created from scratch, and all of the text below as well as these symbols all created from scratch. Okay? That's, those are where you're going to see issues. Those are going to be where a potentially lazy or just not perfect counterfeiter is going to screw up and you can spot the problems. And that's actually why I can take these, shuffle them up, and spot the issue every time. I'll show you exactly what I'm looking at and then I'm going to show you a couple other tricks. So these two, here are my two. Oh my gosh, that's real bad. And actually, I'm going to we'll play the game again. I'll zoom these in. Let's see if you can guess. All right? So I'm going to let you guess. Now you've got a little bit of a hint on what to kind of look for. Can you tell from what I have shown you, what you can actively see right now, which of these is real and which of these is fake? I'll give you a sec because I need a sip of beer. All right, time's up. I gotta look. I gotta make sure. Yep. One and two. Those two. Those are my two. Those are my counter. Those are my counterfeits. These are the real ones. Um. So how can I tell? I'm gonna show you the mo the clearest sign I've been able to tell. Actually. Again, we're gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna sh change my focus up. There we go. Clearest way I've been able to tell is the moon symbols. These guys, this section, this was recreated from scratch. Somebody has created this once and all they're doing is changing the number. So you're going to see consistency here. Um, the moons themselves are smaller. They're actually more spaced out and less crowded than the real versions. I'll show you a real version. Here's the Art of Wars put side by side. See how these are thicker? Thicker, they're more crowded. Same with the E-Strikes. There's my E-Strike. There's my symbol thicker, more crowded. If this doesn't tell, if you can't tell from this, take a look over at the uh, the actual pitches themselves. This looks like a much, like, it's almost basically a, a perfect circle. Well, not perfect circle, the garbage circle. Um, but it's, it's almost like completely filled in. Whereas this looks thin. It's just a thin thing. I can look at these without looking at anything else and be like, that's fake. I can tell from this picture that because these look really crowded, this looks more like a fuller circle, that is wildly different than this. That is enough of a distinction for me to be able to be like, I can tell the difference between these two. Look for, look for thickness, honestly. <laughs> look for it to be a thick boy. Um, additionally, Let's look at the Art of Wars. Other things that I can tell. Again, you're looking for inconsistencies in the things that are under the counterfeiter's full control. And here's another one where they screw up. Bottom. Let's put these side by side. This is the real one over on the left. This is the fake over on the right. This one's a little weird because it's literally a different freaking font. 
I don't know how you screw that up. It's actually, now that I'm looking even closer at it, it's actually at a slight slant. Um, we're, I'm letting that go. That might not be something you can tell. Um, but this is like a completely different font, which is just kind of funny, honestly. Like they just, they literally took the same font as the M and like, it's the same font. It's wrong. It's wrong. Also the M's off center. There's a whole lot of weird stuff going on with this one. Um, this is the real one. This is the regular one, but this is, this is kind of a one-off because it doesn't happen elsewhere. I'll show you the Easter eggs. And actually we'll see. I'm going to, we're going to shuffle these up. I'm going to shuffle these up and I'm going to show you just the bottoms. And I'm going to see if you can figure out which is the real one, which is the fake one based off of this. Which one's real? Which one's fake? Here's your fake over on the right. How do I know? It actually, one, it looks sharper. The thing that I've noticed is that these actually, the sharper your, your, the, the sharper the card looks, the more likely it's going to be a fake, but you, you don't actually even need to look at that because that's a matter of kind of perception that could change based on, even if there's a little blur, like it's a little blurry over on the left because the camera sucks. Um, but what I'm actually looking at with this one is the vertical alignment. The vertical alignment of this W, compare it to the M, it is off. This is actually lower than the vertical center of the M. Take a look at the real one. This is much more vertically centered. Like it looks like if I were to draw a line from the you know center of the circle, the left center of the circle, and all the way across, it would be equal top and bottom. I do not have that here. This is lower. It is well lower. Is it subtle? Yes, but it's subtle enough that there's not actually room for error on this one. This is a very clear difference between this is center aligned, this one isn't. I can tell this is my fake. Um, I also mentioned you can see if it looks a little sharper. You know, when you're printing thousands and thousands and thousands, it's a little harder to get that perfect, oh my gosh, holy crap quantity. But when you're only printing like a couple hundred counterfeits, uh, not so much. So the actual symbols themselves are also different, actually. The attack symbol, this is my counterfeit. This is my real one. This is actually a sharper looking image. And it's not just because my camera is not focused very well. Um, let's see if I can get that. Let's see if I can fix that bad boy up. Here we go. Much better. Um, it's just, I don't know. It just, it, this just looks like a sharper print. You can really see it in the, in the defense. So this is my fake again. It's sleeker. It's crisper. This is the LSS version. It's kind of blotchier. It's a little thicker, a little thicker. Hmm. So those are things to look out for. You've probably also been noticing as we've been zooming in more and more, the actual print quality, you can tell that this print is way the heck off. You can see the dots. You can see kind of where the dot printing is coming into play. I'll actually show you the back. Um, again, these are things that you might not get the luxury of getting a picture this close. Um, if you do, look out for stuff like this right here, and we'll go real in. We'll go very in so you can see this. See that? That is not proper. You can see the circles. You can see the dots. The further you go in, but I am way zoomed in on this one. Again, you might not get that luxury. Um, just so you can see what the LSS version is, that's a lot smoother. Is it perfect? No, you can still see a couple dots, but it is nowhere nearly as defined um, as this one is. And remember, this is this element, this part, this was made from scratch. This isn't a copy. I don't need to copy this. I'm not going to risk the pixelation of this of this shield showing through because it is points and, and thickness of lines and whatnot. So I'm going to copy this from scratch. This is literally the problem with the printer. Um, you can easily see it from the back as well. Um, if you look if you look pretty closely at it, like that looks like a mess. That looks like a, a bit of a kaleidoscope. Um, if you if you look at them, versus this is the LSS print. Much much better. Side by side, uh, side by side as I can. <laughs> it's not the best. There we go. That'll work. See all that extra detail in the print? That's your counterfeit. That's the print not being able to do that. This is this is the LSS version. Much nicer. So these are the things to look out for. That's that's gonna be where I'm at. So that's all I'm gonna leave you with. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera real quick and I'll do a little bit of a recap. But I wanted to show those things. I don't know. I'm speaking on this. One sec. Flipping the camera.
Yeah, so I wanted to recap what those were, but that's, gosh, that's that's what you have. These feel great, by the way. Um, I actually didn't mention that. Uh, if you've gotten all the way this through, from afar, this is hard. This is hard to tell. It really is. Um, and if you felt them, yes, it is actually true that one of these is so slightly uh, heavier than the other. Oh, I just dropped one of them. Huh. Um, it is slightly heavier than the other one, but again, you might not get the luxury of being able to do that. Um, if if you're buying this on the if you're buying this online, you don't get to weigh them. That's not a thing. Um, so they also snap. They snap well. The thickness is great. Um, like these are these are solid counterfeits. There's a little bit of laziness in there. It's only going to get harder over time as they as people learn this stuff. But my takeaway for you is if you're worried about a counterfeit, if you're looking online, if something looks too one, if something looks good to be too good to be true, probably a counterfeit. But if you really want to be sure, take a look at the elements that you know are created. Text symbols. That's where the errors are going to be. If you can zoom in a ton. If you can really dig in, that's where you're going to start seeing the pixelation. You're going to start seeing the print quality stuff. But if you don't have that luxury, focus on the text, focus on the symbols. On these, there's vertical alignment issues on the bottom. The telltale sign for everything has been the moons up at the top. That has been 100% how I've been able to gauge every single counterfeit that I've seen. It's, it, for me, I've seen enough of them that it's just glaring. But that's what I have for you. Once again, thank you so much, uh, Michael and the crew in Oregon. I appreciate you for this. I am I am going to finish it. I just, this was, I was busy. I was busy, guys. Um, I'm not finishing it in one go. But for everybody else, if you have any other tricks, things that you've seen, I haven't seen equipment yet. I don't have my hands on equipment. But again, same thing. Look for the same things. Don't worry about, I mean, if you can zoom in, zoom in, great. But look at the elements that are that are recreated from scratch. And you're probably going to be able to tell without having ever seen one in person. Um, but other than that, good luck out there. Please check out what some of the other creators are doing regarding counterfeits as well. They might have some other tricks. We're all doing this for awareness. And um, yeah, uh, sucks that this is a thing we got to deal with. But together, we're going to overcome it. We're going to beat the crap out of it. And uh, if you're one of the guys doing this, well, you can go fuck yourself. And I'm not even sorry. Sorry, my YouTube algorithm. But I feel that was a good F word. Cheers, everybody.